If you still don't think that corporate greed is the reason for the high prices we're seeing, this video is for you. Canadians for Tax Fairness just released this report. You can find the full report on their website at taxfairness.ca and I'll tag them in this video. This first graph that I'm gonna take you through shows corporate profits throughout the years. You can see that in 2020, there is like a huge jump straight up. And people are gonna say, well, you know, there was inflation and the companies are having to pay more. However, if the corporations had only increased their prices, to the same extent that their costs were increased, their profit margins would have stayed the same. You can see that there's that same big jump. It is going back down slightly, but it, it still remains way higher than any profit margins pre-pandemic. People will then say, well, corporations just reinvest their profits and stimulate the economy. And that's wrong too. The elevated corporate profits that we're seeing have not led to increased investment. And you can see that on this graph here. So the profits went way up in 2020, but if you look at the red line here, which shows the corporate capital expenditures, so this money that they're supposed to be putting back in, you know, having trickle down into the rest of the economy, that line is pretty steady. So they have all this extra profit and they're not investing it in the things that the bootlickers like to tell you they are. So where's this money going? Where's all this extra profit going? I think you know the answer to that. To the shareholders, of course, corporations are repurchasing their own shares from shareholders. This graph shows the net share issuance. If the bar is on the top, it means that they've issued more shares. Then if, the, if it's on the bottom, it means they have purchased more shares than they issued by share buybacks. Put these into dollar values. Between 2015 and 2019, corporations repurchased an average of $60.7 billion in shares per year. In 2021, they repurchased 86.4 billion. 2022 was 128.7 billion. And in 2023, 87.3 billion. That's not the only way that they're funneling these excess profits to their shareholders. They're also paying them record dividends. 2023, non financial corporations paid their shareholders. $191.3 billion, which represents almost half of their net profits. High prices that we are paying to these corporations, just padding the corporation's bottom line and they are funneling them to their shareholders. And some people may ask, why are corporate profits still so high since 2020 when everything spiked? You can pause to read this. The main contributing factors to these profits still being so high is there are less competitive markets, amalgamation of corporations, labor organizations are losing power. So, you know, union busting and unions maybe not doing their jobs or not enough unions. And then government policies, which favor corporations and give them favorable tax conditions like conservative governments do. But conservatives aren't in power. The liberals also are very pro-corporation. It doesn't matter, liberal, conservative. They're all behind this, okay? Everyone needs to realize that. We have a corporate greed problem and no party, liberal or conservative, is going to even touch it. The NDP kind of do, and they're the best at this, but we all need to understand how this works because we are getting screwed. So there are some inflationary pressures and whenever there is, you hear about high inflation and that provides these corporations cover to gouge the shit out of us. As these corporations consolidate and become these large conglomerates, their price setting power increases because they've purchased their competition and they can price things at however they want. Here is a little conclusion. You can pause to read that. The report gives some suggestions on what need to be done. We need to make some serious changes and people need to wake up and understand what's really going on here. So anyway, eat the rich.